It's now time for the VP playback. Let's go. Okay, as you can see, we're heading down to America's Georgia. That's right, we're down in the deep south, and there's Mr. Anthony Reddick driving. There's Zion sleeping, Joseph sleeping, Marla back there in the back, and uh, like I said, we're in the deep south, but we're going to enter Georgia Southwestern State University, founded in 1906 as we cruise along the campus. You can see there's a baseball game going on, and right there in the back, there's the dome right there. We're getting ready to be entering the G. ISA state championship game between John Millage Academy against the big number one Creekside Christian Academy Cougars. There's Dante Ernest, there's Chris Reddick there warming up, getting ready, working on his moves there just for the game. And there's Shakir O'Neal working on the J. And it looks like it's good so far. As you can see the team getting ready for the big time introduction that's going to be held here inside the dome and it's time to get the lights flashing because we got a big time game here to find out who's going to be the state champion for triple a in the gisa state tournament to see john millage academy and the coach and their team they're getting fired up and doing the announcements there there's kim mccoy and there's chris reddick coming in of course there is shakir o'neill with the traditional bow he does just before the game as the team huddles up says a little prayer just as they go in to get the game started and here we go as we get things started John Millage Academy with the ball and there's number 21 Marcus Priestwood and he goes up with a nice little jump right side and it's a 4-0 lead 7-2 left in the first quarter and John excuse me Marcus Priestwood on fire that was a three-point play 9-0 and Chris Reddick decides to drive inside, goes up, but there is his man, Nas Brown, to get things started with the three-point play the hard way, but the down. 13-4, but Nas says, uh, give me five right there. 13-5, 2-0-2 left in the first quarter, but deep for the three. Miss, but the putback by Titus there. Give him seven points, and there he goes to steal with Chris Reddick. Chris Reddick finds Ryan Taylor down for the layup, and you can see Creekside coming back. 13 to 9. Creekside in control, well, not in control, but trying to get back in the game. Dante Ernest with the follow up, and he's got to put back inside. 11 points for Creekside, and there's the steal, but John Millage gets it back, and number 23, the big man Will Rutland, puts it in with a few seconds left in the first quarter. And you can see Jalen Priester decides to go in, and he gets the bucket and the foul. 26 seconds left, and there it is. Completes the three-point play the hard way down by one point. Just a few seconds left. They find inside number 12, Hunter Hudson, and he gets fouled. Oh, man. 3.4 seconds left in the game, and he gets three the hard way and Jalen Priester all he's got to do is to throw up long three and oh just a little bit short down 18 to 14 cheerleaders for Creekside trying to keep the team fired up but Titus strikes and he finds makes it just a one point game but there's oh Shaquille O'Neal trying to get the follow up but gets fouled Takes it for one point, one out of two. Anyway, Nas Brown goes up, but there's Shakira O'Neal with the follow up. Down by two. Oh, but catching fire. Will Rutland for John Millage Academy, but Priester right there with a the nice jumper. Swish. And he keeps it 22 25, 545 left in the second quarter, but wide open. Oh, John Miller said, but anyway, deep for the three. Bam, there he is. Shakir O'Neal brings it within three points. 4-12 left in the second quarter. But, oh, ripped by Priester, and he goes in for the layup, bringing the Creekside Christian Academy within one point, 341 left in the second quarter. And ripped again by Priester. Oh, man, this guy lets it go. But, oh, stolen by John Millage. And they let the ball fly. And, oh, wide open for a layup. Number three, the freshman, Jalen Butts. Makes a three-point lead for John Millage. But there's Chris going up. But following up, Chris, once again, is Nas Brown. But John Millage looking to try to add more points as well. But, oh, turnover, 33-29. Creekside Christian Academy's down here in the second quarter, but they find Chris Reddick down low. Oh, and it gets out of bounds, but he saves it. 
Puts it back in the hands of Creekside. Dante earned it for the three swish. Making it rain inside. Brings it within one point. 33-32, John Miller still with the lead. John Miller's working it inside, and there's one of their lead scores in. But, oh, he gets called with the charge. He says, what? Anyway, 29 seconds, down by one. And Nas Brown with a nice little jumper. Gives him the lead, 34-33 at the half. Third quarter, and Priester ripping again, stealing the ball, going inside, and gets the foul as they attack early. 34-33. Creekside Christian Academy is up. Now they are up by two. But John Miller just trying to break the press. As you can see, Creekside Christian Academy putting the hard press on. But John Miller is able to get by behind the back. But finds there in the corner. Back in the corner. Number 23, Will Rutland. With the three point play. But we're going to keep things going. John Priester now. Or excuse me, Jalen Priester with the ball. Puts it in Shakir's hand. Shakir's puts it back into Jalen Priester. Top of the keys, looking to clear things out. He wants to find some room. He tries to dribble drive inside. And he lets it go to Nazir Brown. Brown finds Chris Redding. Chris Redding goes up strong with the follow up. Boom! And he gets two. Gives him the lead. 37 36. Creekside with the lead. Uh oh, another steal by Priester. He finds Nas. Nas stops. Gives it back to Priester. Priester goes up for the layup. Creekside Christian Academy up by three. 4 18 left in the third quarter. But oh, catching fire. Oh. Briggs, Edie for John Millage and John Millage. Oh, ripped again by Priester, Priester. Oh, but wait a minute, you can't do that. Oh, oh, thanks, Edie holds him yet and says, man, you got to call the check on that. Anyway, down by one, Priester at the line, ties it up 40-40. Now, with the lead, Creekside Christian Academy, but John Millage is not getting up as they go in, and oh, they're looking to go through the hard way, and the crowd's getting height 42 41 now john millage academy has a lead this lead's going back and forth oh but nas gets ripped and john millage with the ball 21 thinks about it passes it back out they give it in they're looking somebody could be open anybody come on they're trying to find anybody but they're patiently wait for their shot and they miss but you can see marcus gets the rebound Gets back in Marcus Priest with his hands, and bam, he gets three for John Mills Academy. And Nas Brown, as I'm running my mouth, takes it in. But, oh, he gets called for the charge. Oh, big time loss for Creekside Christian Academy. Anyway, Priester coming in, drives in, gets the layup, and the foul puts him on the line. Down by two, 44 seconds left in the third quarter. Boom, down by one, 42, 41. Uh-oh. Somebody's got to get the rebound. John Millers ends up with the offensive rebound. 16 seconds left. They're holding the ball, looking for the last shot. But wide open down is the freshman, but he gets fouled. Jalen Butts, 9.9 seconds left. They're up by one. And he makes free throw, 46-44. And he misses the second one. Chris Redding gets the rebound. John Allen Priester, oh, loses the ball. And they call it. And they give it back to John Millers Academy. And they got a chance for the last six out. But, oh! Looks like a little bit of travel there. They could one cause jump, but he said, no, 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 ref, no, no. That's a travel, man. That's a travel. You got to give it back. 2.3 seconds left, and they throw it up a desperate shot. Oh, just missed. 46-44, John Mills Academy with the lead. And the number one team, Creekside Christian Academy, possibly could be defeated by an upset, as you can see. John Millers Academy with the lead. They're just going to be nice and polite and hold that ball as long as they can. Take the right shot, even though they miss. Chris Reddy gets the rebound. And Priester finds Shaquille O'Neal with a nice play and the nice bank in. 46-46 games all tied. And Nazir Brown finds Jalen Priester and Chris Reddick gets the rebound, decides to make a move, and he stops, drops, and boom, pops it against Creekside Christian Academy. The lead, 48-46, but uh-oh, wait a minute. It's all tied up, and as you can see, John Miller's Academy is trying to hold on, but oh, it's ripped and stolen by Chris Reddick, and he hands it on to Jalen Priester, and it's tied 50-50. 3.50 left in the game. Whew, anybody's getting to this point, but deep for the three. Oh, that was a big time three. Key three, number 23, Patrick, or excuse me, that was Will Rutland. Anyway, Will, Will Rutland with the rebound. And oh, look at that super tight D, like a mirror. Chris Reddick, like a mirror, forces them to call timeout. 
Oh, and Creekside down by three, 303 left in the game. John Millage in control at this time. All I gotta do is just hold the ball and play keep away. But oh, they lose the ball, it goes off. Ate his finger and 208 left in the game. Oh, and Nas is out of bounds on the line. 205 left in the game. John Miller is now in control. All they got to do is hold on to the ball as they play keep away. As you can see, Creekside Christian Academy is going to have to put some pressure. They're going to get the ball back. Chris Redding almost with the tip gets the ball, almost causes a turnover. But John Miller's Academy holding on to the ball, looking to just play keep away at this time. Wanting to hold on to that lead. Don't want to give it back in the hands of Creekside Christian Academy. But Jalen Priester, oh, causes a turnover and it's back in the hands of Creekside Christian Academy. And there is Shakir O'Neal with the three. Oh! Back in the game, this down by two as John Miller's Academy calls timeout. 107 left in the game. This could be anybody's game. Oh, but did you see what just happened there? Oh, they back in, but look, my man. Eden was walking there on the inbounds pass, and they didn't call it. So the bucket counts for John Mills. But anyway, there's Dante Ernest forcing him to call another timeout. They're only down by two. 15 seconds left in there after the timeout. You can see he puts his main guys in, and they're like, look, we got this. All we got to do is stop the ball. They go deep for the long pass. And oh, Dante just misses it. And oh, man. Marcus Priestwood with a possible three-point play. 12.7 seconds left. The four-point lead now makes it a five-point lead. He puts the ice on it. Desperately, Jalen Priestwood trying to get the three. Misses it. Rebound in the hands of John Mills again. And you know what you're going to All I got to do is hold the ball and throw it away. And that's it. John Mills Academy with the... Unbelievable upset over number one right Creekside Christian Academy as they become the state champions. And in defeat, there's the agony. There's Chris, my nephew, down. And as he's down on the ground, they hand the trophy off to John Millard's Academy as they celebrate state champions. And unfortunately for Creekside Christian Academy, they go inside as one of the most of these players will be back next year. Anyway, congratulations, John Mills Academy. Oh, y'all can say hey, y'all can say ho. Get the party started, you lit, let's go. Y'all can say hey, y'all can say ho. Get the party started, you lit, let's go. Y'all can say hey, y'all can say ho. Get the party started, you lit, let's go.